Hi, in this presentation I'm going to talk to you about how it's possible to use Microsoft Teams and present to our audience while still viewing what our audience is reacting, all using one screen. When it comes to making our presentation to our audience, it's often good to consider yourself as being the producer of a small TV programme. Remember, you're broadcasting your image and your graphics to an audience that's uh, remote from you. This is a photograph of the studio that I use to make my presentation to my students. You'll notice it's got two screens. The screen on the right is the one that I use to control my Teams and my PowerPoint presentation. The screen on the left I use as a live window as to what is being broadcast to my students. Clearly, not everybody can have two screens. Often we're given equipment from our institutions and it's generally a laptop. And as a consequence, uh, we're not able to have a twin screen setup. The following is a presentation that's aimed at showing you how to use uh, exactly the same approach to my uh, presentations, but using just the one screen. On screen now, you'll see that I've loaded Microsoft Teams. And what I want to do is to be presenting my PowerPoint using the presenter view. Now, the way I'm going to do that is to first of all load PowerPoint. Here you can see I've loaded PowerPoint. And to engage the presenter view, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, which is by pressing the Alt and then the F5. Alt, F5. And you might recognise this view if you presented in a live situation. Now the problem I've got with this view is that it obliterates the entire screen. So what I want to try and do now is to make it so that it only occupies half the size of the screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my mouse up to towards the top right and I'm going to click down on the Restore Down button. Now you can now see that my presenter view is kind of a mobile window. So if I press and click, uh, press and hold on the top bar and then move my mouse towards the edge of the screen, you'll see it will trigger a little animation and underneath it will give you an indication of where the window is now going to occupy. So by releasing the mouse button, you can now see that my presenter view only occupies the right hand side of the screen. Now, it also gives me an option to select what I want to appear in the left hand side of the screen. Now, clearly, what I want to do is to use the um, uh, Teams view. So if I click on that, I now have the live view of Teams, as you can see here, I'm uh, 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 talking to you now. So now we've got both screens available, we are uh, presenting, but we're only presenting locally. So what I need to do now is to share the output of the PowerPoint so that my audience can uh, see it. The way I'm going to go ahead and do that now is if you look towards the top of uh, the Teams view, uh, the icon that is uh, share content is this square with an up arrow. If I press and click here, I'll get a few options appear in a sort of pop-up window. Now what I want to do, and this is the, the word of warning, is I want to uh, uh, broadcast the output of PowerPoint. And that's selected by looking not at the PowerPoint, but at the window. And as you can see in this second column along, one of the options is the output of the uh, presenter view. If I click on that now, we're now broadcasting again uh, the PowerPoint, but it's kind of uh, obliterated my screen. So what I need to do now is by pressing the Alt and Tab button, Alt and Tab, uh, I get this window. And this window stays on screen as long as I am pressing the Alt key. Now you can see a white uh, box has appeared around the uh, the apps that uh, are uh, of interest to me. And if I release the Alt key now, it will display the presenter view. Now I'm going to do the same again. 
for my Teams view. So I press Alt and Tab, and I want the one that's slightly to the right of it. So I'm going to press uh, the Tab key again, and you see this white box has now appeared round the edge of the Teams view. I'm still pressing the Alt button. When I release, that will appear on screen. So now we are broadcasting what appears in this uh, window pane here where I'm circulating the mouse. We can see what the next slide is and also what the notes are. Now the moment I come to uh, click on the to advance the slide, unfortunately it's going to give focus to this window and the output obliterates the Teams. But remember we can always bring the Teams button by pressing the Alt and Tab and in this case it's highlighted the Teams uh, straight away by releasing the tab. I can now uh, have both images on screen. In the last section I explained how to get the presenter view visible at any time by pressing a series of what they call keyboard shortcuts. The shortcut for getting to presenter view while running PowerPoint is by first of all pressing the Alt button and then pressing the F5 while the Alt button is pressed. That will then rapidly bring up the presenter view. Now, another useful feature to have uh, at your disposal is to be able to switch between apps uh, rapidly. Now, as demonstrated in the webcast previously, the way you do that is by selecting, first of all, the Alt key and then whilst the Alt key is pressed, there's the Tab button. Now in the first instance, what will appear is a window and subsequent depressions of the Tab will cycle between all of the active windows. I tend to operate by having the mouse in my right hand and then I'll lay my keyboard hand, would be with my left hand, would be with my thumb on the Alt key and my index finger on the tab. That way I can make communications rapidly and kind of transparently flick between the apps that are important for my audience to be viewing. That's all there is to making a presentation of PowerPoint using just the one screen.